Hey there YouTube, what's up? Jet Fuel EDC here. Just got an unboxing, unpackaging, however you want to call it. Got a knife here. So if you're one of my recent silver subscribers, sorry, no silver in this video. Only knives, got a whole mess of knives, gonna show you. Show you a couple of things I, I customized last, well, show you a thing I customized last week. And then, uh, and then uh, the knife of the week and this unboxing, but in reverse order, I guess. So we'll we'll start off with the knife of the week. The knife of the week is the Benchmade Crooked River. This thing is a beast. Man, it is a beast. Straight up hoss. <clears throat> These Benchmades are they're pretty serious. This one's made out of S30 fee steel. They got these these wood grain inserts all on an axis lock. It's a it's a beast. Haven't got to mess with this one very much. Just this is the first day I have carried it, and uh, pretty interested to see what she can do. Let's see what she's what she's boasting here. Let's back up here a little bit of their package. Let's see. As you can see, that's a mammoth of a blade. Let's see. One, two, three. About three and three quarters inches. And then uh, blade length. And then we got about Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine and a quarter inches overall. That thing's a monster. It's, it's a beast. This is part of their hunt series. It's got a nice edge and real sharp. Yeah, I'm, I'm digging this knife. You got a nice orange backspacer to kind of go with here. It's like I said, it's part of your hunt hunt series, so orange is safety. <laughs> I bought this from Jimmy Slash and he had already tied this lanyard on it, so I just I left this lanyard. It goes good with the knife, it looks nice. Just a little snake knot lanyard there. I dig it. Thing's a beast. Let's get the scale out here. Let's see what she weighs. Got a tip from a viewer today. Appreciate that saying that they couldn't really see the scale so I'll, from now on i'll take a peek at it before i put the knife on there through the viewer and make sure that you can see it i appreciate tips so keep them coming let's see what she weighs yeah 5.36 ounces it's not too bad we've seen worse 152 grams not too bad not too bad but we'll see what she does see what she does this week i get i try and carry a, each one of these knives you know that i show you in the video if i say it's the knife of the week i try and i change it out on friday night going into saturday so when i come home from work on friday night i put that i put that particular knife i was carrying for the week up I'll clean it tomorrow and then I'll store it and then I'll break out a new knife on you know right now or Saturday morning Saturday afternoon Saturday evening whenever and I'll carry it till next Friday night or Saturday morning but anyways let's get into the unboxing kind of rambling here oh this thing's sharp <laughs> Another Spider Co. Not really sure what the whole dish towel thing was, but okay. Yeah, I hope I didn't cut that. <laughs> That's a new one for packaging material. 
but I appreciate the thought and the effort. It it protected the box. So let's see what we got in here. As you can probably see, you see an M4 PBK2. And then you see that there. Manix 2. And JQ usually stands for Jade. And that is exactly what we have. Get that warranty paperwork and everything out of the way there. Mm -hmm. We have the Blade HQ exclusive Manix 2 Jade. Let's try that again. Oh, yeah, that thing's tight. This thing's never even, never had anything done, never, never been really deployed or nothing. This is brand new. I bought it used, but it's brand new. <laughs> you can tell it. But the CPM M4 steel has all these exclusive ones. Yep, just about knocked the camera over. Sorry about that, but the CPM M4 steel, just like all these come. I needed this one to kind of complete my collection, You, I could say. I still, I could go, I could get the satin or the DLC coated ones and, you know, keep going that route, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'll stop here. Let's see what we got here. We got one, two, almost three inches blade length or cutting length. The blade length obviously is a little bit longer, a little over, a little over three and a quarter. Um, the overall length is uh, it's like right at about eight inches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, right at eight inches. Yeah, man, that thing's stiff. Yeah, that's going to take some work. I have to probably take it apart and clean it. Take it apart and clean it and then grease it up, lube it up real good. This is like my biggest discrepancy with Spyderco knives is... They don't want you to take apart your knives, do any kind of routine maintenance, any kind of lubrication. It, it's ridiculous. Like they say, if you take the knife apart, it voids the warranty. That's terrible. Like if you're using these knives, you need to take them apart. You need to clean them. Like I, I don't, I don't get it. But yeah, that's that's my piece on that. I don't, I don't necessarily agree with it. But that's that's their deal. One hundred and twenty-two grams is the weight. Let's go back to the ounces here. Four point three ounces. So it's still a pretty solid, pretty beasty, uh, beasty knife. It's got a little bit of weight to it. But yeah, that that's gonna go good with the rest of them. Let's get the rest of them out. So. We'll try and go in order here. Try and put them in order. That that was obviously the Manix 2. This is that was the paramilitary 2. The paramilitary 3. And the military. As you can see there. <laughs> Pretty good looking knives. I really like that jade natural look. It's, it's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Happy with all of them. I bought, let's see, the only one I bought actually new, I got this one directly from Blade HQ. The rest of them I bought on the secondary market. And as you can see, they're practically brand new. The only one, it's got a little bit of wear to it. Looks like maybe the military. You can see in the scales, they're a little a little dirty, a little discolored, but the rest of them, they're practically brand new. Yeah, pretty happy with all those. 
I can't remember what they call that lock on it. I guess it's a, I guess that would be an access lock. I didn't know if that was, um, I didn't know if that was a trademark of Benchmade or anything, but I know the one that I showed on the Crooked River, it's an access lock, but I'm assuming this is an access lock as well. I'm not an expert in knives, don't proclaim to be. I just, I'm a, I'm an avid collector. I, I love, I love them. Um, I don't, I'm not gonna pretend to know everything about them cause I don't, I, I'm not even close, not even close to knowing all the, there is to know about knives. So if I'm, if I say something wrong or something, let me know, hey, I learned something. Hey, I got caught the other day on a silver video they got me here I am I thought I, I got an extra ounce of silver nope that was those are regular ounces I learned all about what the difference between an ounce and a troy ounce is so I appreciate it you know I like I said I don't I don't proclaim to be an expert so feedback is appreciated so the final final here is the Steadymon, let's see, it's the Steadymon ZKC. It's the Shy 4. This is not my knife. This is a, um, I recommended this to one of my buddies after it was recommended to me. He picked it up. He saw what I had did to customize mine and he doesn't have the tools and things to take it apart. So he lent it to me to take it apart for him. And I figured this would be a great opportunity to do a little comparison on what his knife looks like and what my customized knife looks like. So I'm, I'm digging this knife for 30 bucks. Go to Amazon before they sell them out, go to Amazon. I'm thinking about getting another one just so I can do, I'll do another one dye the scales, dye the backspacer, dye the thumb stud. I mean, it didn't cost me, I think the most expensive part that I bought to do the dye was the $7 pot that I bought because I didn't want to ruin any of my old ladies' pots and pans. Didn't want to start that fight. So without further ado, here is the one I customized. I dyed it, you know, a dark red and put a black and dyed the uh, the thumb stud there black and the back spacer black. It's kind of got like a Deadpool look to it. Now, I really dig this knife now. That thing looks, it looks phenomenal. I love it. I'm going to tie a lanyard up for it this weekend. I was looking for a Deadpool bead to put on it, lanyard bead, and I can't find one. So I figured my buddy over at Obscure Hideout might be able to hook me up, but all his stuff sold out and he's not looking at getting any more for a while, but I thought maybe he could he could do something on the side, but he says he, he ain't got no room for it, so but you get a chance check him out obscure hideout he does lanyards he does paracord beads um all kinds of stuff and he's got some cool got some cool lanyards and beads you know you want to carry it on a keychain you want to put it on a knife a flashlight whatever but that's about all i got for you guys i'll lay them out here at the end give you something to go to sleep on or wake up to depending on what you're doing but i appreciate you guys watching uh all the likes the comments the subscribers all the feedback is greatly appreciated love it if uh if you leave me a comment don't don't get discouraged if i don't get back to you immediately i'm, I'm trying to do it every day but it's proven to be a little tougher than I thought. I wanted to. I want to do it every day, so uh, don't get discouraged. Don't stop with the comments. I will get to you when I get the chance. 
But like I said, I do appreciate all the feedback, the support. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All right, thanks, guys. Have a good weekend.